Oh my god. Alright. It's time to do this again. It's the day after the previous one uploaded, but I'm not putting it out for a week because, uh... Because, fuck, I don't know. It's just what seems like a good thing to do. This is gonna be a Wednesday upload thing. So this is my base now. I, uh... I nuked the mountain that I lived on. And so now it's just this big crater. That's a huge fucking lie. The truth is, the place you saw me uh, living the previous time, that was like a spare base. This is my original base. This is the base where I first started playing Feed the Beast on. I, uh... This is where I did all the trial and error shit. I figured out how to farm over there on that little hilltop. But there just wasn't enough room, so I made this big platform over here, and I'm going to expand it as I need more room for farming. I just sort of, like, breed things together to figure out what makes what. So, um, the reason I made that whole second base, or I made that whole second save file, if you look right there, you can see a shit ton of beacons. That's because a creeper went into my base. I have no idea how. I'm pretty sure that place is airtight and lit up all the fuck. But uh, a creeper got in there, somehow, right next to a bunch of uh, chests filled with very volatile materials, and it blew up a bunch of my machines. That that A machine that gets blown up doesn't just drop on the ground, it disappears permanently, and you gotta recreate it. And that's a whole shit ton of resources for each machine. So I lost a bunch of hardware, and a bunch of volatile materials are spilled all over the floor. So what that means is if I want to pick them up, I immediately need to put them somewhere or they will drain my health and kill me. So I finally, something happened in my previous server, some dumb bullshit to do with sunflowers or something. So I came back here because that pissed me off more than this pissed me off and I've had some time to cool off. So I've started picking up everything. You know, looking at it, I haven't really lost- oh shit. Alright, see, I picked up uranium and now I'm dead. Um... Except that for some reason it's not actually killing me. I will use that to my advantage. Okay, the plutonium is killing me. The uranium did not. Well, I'm dead. So yeah, you see the pickle I'm in. I need to I, I need to just kill myself a few times to fix the situation. Unless I put on some hazmat gear. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I should probably go see if I have any hazmat gear. <sighs> this is a fucking shit show of a mess. Anyway, I I need a topic for this uh podcast. That, that's what this is, by the way. This is a podcast, I think. I've never done one before, so I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm figuring it out as I go. So. The topic for this is gonna be... I talked about what my life is in the last podcast. So I think it's fitting that I talk about what got me to where I am currently. Both in the sense of what got me to start doing this podcast, and, um, what got me here in the show, what got me where I am in life, all those nitty-gritty questions, the deep shit, the, the reflective stuff. That's what I'm gonna talk about. Ah. While I work on this mess. Maybe I'll talk over it. Maybe I'll cut out my audio and talk over it. Depends how shitty this goes. So. First thing to talk about is what got me to where I am in life. No, that's way too big and broad. I'm going to talk about what got me to start doing this podcast. So, when I, uh... When I started watching YouTube, I was... I got into it pretty late in the game. YouTube had been around for a long ass time. It was like 2009 or something. I was in 7th or 6th grade. And the reason I started watching is because for all my life, I don't really do anything except sit at home and play video games. 
that's just been my life. I did have the occasional hobby of like Taekwondo or stuff, but I hadn't started writing books yet. I hadn't started doing anything because I never really got pushed to do anything, you know? No one ever made me do anything, so I just kind of stagnated. But I got I got sick of that shit, so I stopped. This is me stopping in general. It's just me knocking that off. Hmm. Right. I still have this primitive blast furnace I should probably fix. Turn it into an improved blast furnace. So while I'm doing all of this... I'm so fucking glad. It used to be that I had all my power storage right here in this area. Right where the creeper blew up. Blew its fucking load all over my face. I, mo I moved... I was upgrading my power. I'm making this big ass fucking boiler tank that's gonna produce like shit tons of energy per second. I just don't have the w a way to fuel it reliably right now. But I got that in the works. And then... I upgraded to this super intense storage unit. This sh this stores an absolute metric shit ton of fucking energy. Back over there, I had tiny little two energy storage units. One that was meant to charge things, and the other that was meant to supply power to everything else. And it was it was big for me, but this thing is like exponentially larger than that one was. So this is a huge step up, and I'm glad I did it when I did it, because now I have a fucking mess over here to clean up. What machines did I lose, by the way? I have two rolling machines here, it's really retarded. I, I made one because I didn't know I had the other, and then right after making them, I'm like, oh wait. Huh. I'm a dumbass. That was, that was the big lesson of the day, is Prof is a dumbass. So right now I'm trying to figure out what the hell I lost in that explosion. I got the macerator right here, the magma crucible. So what was between my rolling machine and my macerator? Something right here. What could it have been? It's too bad I didn't record a let's play here like I planned to, because then I could go through the fucking video and figure out what was there. I guess I'll just have to figure it out when one day I'm looking for a machine and I can't find it because it's not there anymore. Alright. So a big problem is storage. I have no organization in this base. I, I solved that problem immediately when I made the next base. I made a big hallway that I didn't really show you guys and it's just full of crates or chests and I was planning on organizing them. But I didn't do that here. So I just kind of pile chests. I'm gonna fix that. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Get out of here, you disgusting you. That that's there from from a weird creeper that blew blew up and spread weird bullshit all over the place. Um. So what I'm working on right now is making a big ol' storage system. And while I work on that, I'm going to talk about... Right. I'm talking about what made me want to start this podcast. So I started watching YouTube pretty late in the game. And I was watching commentators. The worst, like the least original content kind of people. I fell in love with them. Because personalities. I didn't talk to people. Not because I didn't want to talk to people, but because I didn't know how. And I ended up just being a big asshole to everyone. Because I didn't... I didn't, it, it, I didn't cope, no, not the right term, I didn't comprehend, I didn't have any experience. If talking to the average person is like a fight, I'm a level 1 going up against level 40s. So, so that's the thing. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I, I get really frustrated when I don't know what I'm doing. And I just get mad and get mean. Time to put this uh, hazmat suit away. It's kind of hard to make. It uses a lot of annoying to get things. Rubber and orange dye. I don't like to get either of those things. It also uses iron bars for the weirdest reason. So I was watching those YouTube commentators and I fell in love with them and I still love them. Some of my biggest idols are these guys. Not like let's players but like people who watch shows, you know? 
So that's that that was the main thing that I watched. That's what I went to YouTube for. And then I started watching Let's Players, which is more original. You know, you're adding you're adding more of your own thing to the content. But it's still not quite like there's nothing of value in a Let's Play, I don't think. When I look at a Let's Play or when I listen to a Let's Play, I don't I'm not awed by anything. They're they're comedians. That's true. And I feel like the game is to assist them with being funny. It's to provide a visual thing to accompany the their audio, their dialogue. Here's a thing I should introduce you to right now, the mining laser. It's got all kinds of modes. Here's uh, what I usually use is the low focus mode because I point at something and that something is gone. It's very dangerous. Low focus mode is for close range, destroy a single block. Long range is uh, shoots through a shit ton of things. I could dig a, ma a massively long tunnel straight down like that. Um, a thing you'll notice is that I get lag here. And maybe it's to do with all the electrical bullshit I have going on in there, I don't know. But it gets worse the longer I play. I noticed it way less in that other server. Or in that other world. But when it gets so bad, I just fucking give up and go away. Yep, there it is again. It's so fucking distracting. And it gets me killed. What happens when I lag is my character is standing still while the rest of the world is carrying on around him. I'm not able to put any input, and I'm not able to see what's happening. I just suddenly jump ahead to what's happened since. And it pisses me off so much. Maybe I need to dedicate more RAM to the game? I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll try that if it gets too annoying. So... Let's players. People like Game Grumps, Markiplier. I, w I never really got into PewDiePie. Uh, but people like that. I started watching a lot of them. And then, uh, <coughs> I found a guy, um, who's got a shit ton of channels, so I'm not gonna identify him by any of them, by any of his channels' names. I'll just call him Jesse. Jesse White, I think his last name is. He, he, he's a big fucking animu piece of shit. Total autismo, I, I think. I'm not sure, but I think he might be a total autist. If he's an autist, if he's not an autist, I don't care. I fucking love him. He has been such a big influence. He's a total fucking genius. And he's inspired a lot of my worldviews and a lot of my art. So... I really appreciate him. And through him, I found a bunch of his friends, the Horseshoe Crew, they call themselves, for reasons I won't explain. You can go look for them if you really care. But, uh... But, uh, I found them, and now they're my favorite people on YouTube. Like, idols to me. I know they're not exactly people to idolize, they're depressed, somewhat, uh, dysfunctional is not the, holy shit, that went deep, holy shit, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm still coping with how powerful this mining laser is, let me show you quickly all of the modes, horizontal, basically, whatever direction you aim, why is it not shooting, oh, so, you click on the side of a block and it just shoots horizontally. It's good for mining out a long tunnel. And then you've got superheat. What this does is it will smelt any block it touches. So you can smelt iron ore, or if you want, you can smelt cobblestone without breaking it. Yeah, you can also smelt glass, pretty cool. What else can I smelt? It doesn't work on tree trunks, it just obliterates them, I've already tried. Um, I guess that's good enough. So, now you've got Scatter, a big fucking splurge of lasers 
making like the SoundCloud symbol or something. Damn it, that lag. It's a piece of shit. Um, explosive. Very dangerous. It doesn't look like it's making a super big explo explosion, but that will kill you from pretty far away, I found. So you don't want to be reckless with that. Yep, the lag's still there. Mining, it's basic. It's like a stronger version of the low focus or a weaker version of the long range. It's right in the middle. So uh that those are all the range those are all the modes for this laser gun. Now what am I talking about? Right. The horseshoe crew. Those people. Shit, now I'm on fire. Um they've really been like inspirations for me. I know that I've heard a bunch of them say that they're not exactly people anyone should look up to, that each of them are depressed or dysfunctional in their own way. But you know, I'm already a bit of a fucked up guy. If you couldn't already tell from my previous previous video, I'm not like insane or anything, but I'm not a healthy minded person. I'm not gonna kill myself, I'm not gonna shoot up a school or anything, but I'm not happy. I'm unhappy and I'm unsatisfied with my life. And the nature of my dissatisfaction is something that I don't think can be fixed, because I'm not upset with my lack of accomplishments. I'm upset with the knowledge that if I were to do anything, it wouldn't matter, because everything's going to disappear eventually. Everyone's gonna die. Everything's gonna get erased. Nothing is permanent. The only thing that feels even slightly permanent is are, are books that I upload to the internet, and those are my only form of solace. But even then, I know that, like, information can be, like, fucked with. If the world, if the world collapses in on itself, and all of the background radiation of the universe is condensed into sing a singularity, then it'll be like everything got erased. And if it were to expand again, there would be no remnants of of our internet, of the, the things that we have. So unless we develop immortality, and unless we escape the physical form, I'm never gonna be... I'm not gonna be able to just motivate myself. You know, life, is, life isn't something I can take seriously, knowing that it's gonna disappear. And I don't mean life in the sense of my organs and my bodies. I mean this universe will disappear. And that makes me not take it seriously. So when it's not fun, I just don't care. <sighs> so that explains... That explains, I think, in part why I like the PCP so much, because there are a lot of things that I look up to and idolize, and a lot of things I've wanted and never had. I've always wanted, like, a tight-knit group of friends, or, like, people to talk to regularly and work on things with. I absolutely adore how they work on things together, like how they got a podcast like they do as a, as a group. F fuck, fuck Monkey. New guy, I, I didn't want him, and the fact that we had to lose Jesse to get that monkey guy... Was it monkey? I don't even remember. Probably monkey. Mon monkey. I'm gonna call him Jones. Probably Jones. That's probably who it was, yeah. Um, the fact that you had to lose the diamond to accept a little hayseed monkey is fucking unacceptable. That should never have been allowed to happen. But uh whatever. I don't I don't know the whole details. I, I I wasn't there. But it's just an awful trade. And obviously they agree with me. Digi agrees. Digi di that's how Digi feels rather. Fuck it. They don't know I exist. But uh yeah. That's how that that's how they feel because it's objectively correct. Jesse's the fucking best. 
Where am I even going with this? So yeah, them doing that podcast, them doing all their shit, Digi doing his videos, Jesse working on that those big fucking projects he gets obsessed with and drives himself insane working on. All of that just really inspires me. I, I'm starting this podcast not to make... It, it's This doesn't make me happy on its own. It's a thing to do. It's a way to pass the time. And it's a way to talk without feeling insane. Which is not something that makes me uncomfortable. But, uh... It, it's a reason to talk to an empty room. You know? And maybe one day someone will find this video and leave a comment and it'll make me laugh and it'll make me smile. But, uh, what I want to do is I want, I want people. I want some people to work on stuff with, to share ideas with, and to share my opinions with, and to argue with, and accomplish stuff with. Not because I care about the things that we accomplish, but because what matters to me is people. I love people, and I care about people. People's happiness, people's well-being, people working on things. I care about other people's self-actualization. That's something that makes me genuinely happy. Helping other people and seeing other people grow. <sighs> so yeah. But I'm not even a people person. Like, I'm not super good at talking to people. I'm not super good at any of that. In fact, I'm not even the most empathetic guy in the world. Sometimes sometimes I can be a very cold-hearted, merciless asshole. I have I've been known to do that before. Fuck you, you piece of shit pleb. Did I get him? I think I got him. Is there anyone else? Anyone else who wants a piece of this? Oh, I'm out of fuel. Should have been paying attention, but hey. I'm on a fucking podcast. I can't think about everything all at once. So, where am I going? Yeah, I, I like partially idolize these guys, and so part of me wants to like be like them, to make a podcast and to get other people to join me on it. Like, again, I mentioned that guy down the street last time. I uh, might bring him on here, but I want more people than that, you know. And it's not even about the quantity of people. I want... I don't want a bunch of people. I want a bunch of talents, and I want a bunch of thoughts. So if I, I could choose, I would want a single person with a million ideas. I, that's the person I want on this podcast. How the hell do I charge this... Ugh. Oh, shit. That's right. I know what I lost in that explosion. I lost my induction charger. This dumb thing that uses a big metal coil. I have no idea how it works. But somehow, it uses induction, whatever that is, to charge things. So I need to make an induction charger. Let's take a look at that. Induction charger. I'm gonna go for the high voltage one. So I can make that high voltage wire later. Let's focus on making the capacitor. So I need three. Oh, wait, what the hell am I doing? I shouldn't be wasting my time on stupid jetpacks. I'm supposed to be crafting these things. This is where it's at. I need to make the good stuff. The chests. So I've got these guys that I idolize and I want to be like. Like, if I could get my way, I would find a way to be able to talk to them and like, like be a person who knows them and get to like hear their thoughts and ideas directly from the source. But I can't even imagine how I would go about doing that like I don't want to be the guy who who went hardcore trying to insert himself into the life of someone of a bunch of people that he like looks up like he what's the term I don't want to say shit in a way that sounds weird and creepy I'm not a weird creepy guy 
I, I'm self-aware enough to know when I'm saying something that sounds a little strange. And I don't want to say strange shit. If I'm thinking strange shit, well then, boo fucking who, there's nothing I can do about what's in my head. But at least I can have the decency to not say strange shit out loud. So, uh, what's, what's the way to put this? I... Is idolize even the correct word? No, because I know for a fact these people have faults. I can see a lot of their faults. I know they're not perfect. I know they're not exactly good role models. But I still really like them. I really like hearing their thoughts and ideas. And I want to hear more of them. Why the hell did I even start talking about that? Well, where am I going with this? Right. So I can't imagine a way in the world that I would ever get into contact with people like that. Either them specifically, and I can't imagine how... I, I, the only way I can think of it is... <coughs> I need to make my own group of people. I need to find people with good thoughts, with worthwhile opinions, with pe people who can structure themselves logically and have passions and interests that I share, who we can collaborate and work on stuff. But I don't know anyone like that in person. I, uh... Anyone who shares my interests in things like anime and video games are also a bunch of shut-ins who don't who aren't reliable in scheduling, who don't want to hang out ever, who don't want to do anything. And I'm a person who likes to do stuff. Maybe that's not even accurate. It's not that I want to hang out all the time, but I want to feel like I'm making progress towards something. I, I, want, I want a project. I like projects. And I'm always trying to find my next project. Either the next story I'm going to write, which I haven't had to worry about for a long ass time, because fucking Gilchrist is the center of my world right now, but, uh, fuck, I'm trapped. But, uh, the only way I think I could find anyone like that is I'm going to have to meet them through the internet. So, maybe I need to figure out, like, how did, I, I know that hypocrite... Hippo, one of the PCP members, he met the PCP by going on to a talk show or, or like a podcast with Jesse. I have no, I don't fucking remember how he said he got on that, but like, if I could do that, but I mean like, there's like a fucking shit ton of people who like these guys. There can't, I can't be the only one who wants to get to know these people. So I can't reliably try to be friends with them specifically. I have to make my own group. <coughs> but holy shit, now that I think about it, Hippo is so fucking lucky that like, he managed to get into communication. How, how, I don't know much about how he met Jesse. Like he just started watching his vid. Oh shit, that's right. Hippo started making videos because he wanted to get Jesse's attention or something like that. And it worked. Okay, that that plan... Hippo had a very happy ending. I can't imagine that plan working if I tried. But I guess that's something I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make good shit. Get into contact with these people, because... It's so fucking rare that I find even one person with interesting thoughts and interesting things to say and the ability to say them well and who has passions and things they like to work on. And now here I see this big ass group of them. There's like, how many of the PCP are there? There's like, Digi, best guy ever, Jesse, Nate, maybe? There's Tommy. There, oh, is his name Tommy or Tony? Oliver. Oliver guy. Uh, the analysis dude. There's him. And then who else is there? Davu, right? Davu. Fucking 
hilarious weirdo Devu. Um, so there's all the, so there's like six people who are all really interesting in their own ways. So I can't imagine I'm going to have the luck of finding a big group of people like that. So I guess I need to try to figure out how to get to know these people if the be the best I'm hoping for is like a acquaintance basis maybe get to hear their thoughts. So uh I don't want to fucking like have to I'm not fucking paying money to get in their fucking super chat or whatever so that I can like suck up to them like all the other fucking people in their discord or whatever I'm not doing that I ain't no suck up I'm not sucking up to them but uh I don't know maybe if I can make this podcast like a really cool thing or something maybe ah <sighs> I don't really, okay, the only thing I can think about that a majority of them share in common is anime. And I don't really have big thoughts on anime, and I don't have anything that they haven't heard before. I'm like a super young fish compared to these guys, and holy shit, I'm not accomplishing anything in-game. I need to focus on that. So, I guess I have the big mess cleaned up. Now I need to charge my mining laser. It's charged already, good. So now I need to find a place to put that storage room while I talk about this. So wait, is that what I want to do? I don't think I want to be the kind of person who tries to scheme their way into getting into somebody else's life. I said that already before, but it's like something I can't stress enough. I don't want to be a fucking weirdo stalker guy so uh am i weird for wanting to do that am i weird for wanting to be friends with these guys <sighs> that's 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 a that's a ponder right there leave a comment in the description if you think i'm a big fucking weirdo for wanting to be friends with these guys or for rather for wanting to try to plan a way where I can become friends with them. Because I, it's not that I don't have any friends at all, it's just that I don't have any people who I click with strongly and who I share a lot with. I don't know anyone like that. There weren't many people like that at my school. And I moved from school to school a lot as a little kid, so I didn't have time to plant any strong roots. Okay, before I dig this tunnel, I need to know how low this room is over here where I have the... Oh, my generator's offline. Okay, so one, two, three is the floor. So the ceiling has to be three below. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. That's not what I meant to do, but it's what has been done. <sighs> so I want to get their attention. That's something that I want to do, and I don't think it's terrible to admit that. So... What would I do to get there? This is sort of part of what I'm doing. This is part of that effort, is starting this podcast. And my hope is I can make it cool enough that maybe I could invite one of them on one day. Fuck, I don't know. I can't plan every little thing. I can only make the big idea and work out the kinks as I go. And I destroyed one of the irons. Oops. Yeah, I, I should keep that laser tucked away. Uh, I, I can't plan out every little thing. I can just make the big plan of I'm starting this podcast and I'm going to work on this YouTube channel. And my hope is one day I will get to invite 
Uh, what the? Okay. I see how that works. So I should go get the hazmat suit on because I've got a bunch of spent uranium rods in there and I want to spin the shit out of them so that I get plutonium because I need plutonium for shit. Six rods, pretty good. Thermal centrifuge. Centrifuge. Um, I'm not sure if my uh, energy distribution system has... Oh shit, it was knocked out. Yeah, there's no connection between there and there. So, uh, let's see if uh, <clears throat> that's one of the connectors. I need a wire. I need a good, strong wire to connect those two spots. Is there a wire in here? It doesn't look like there is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Great. Well, it didn't seem to be having a problem anyway with energy. Oh, shit. Okay, that thing... Are those medium volt? No, those must be low voltage. So now I need to find a spot to connect that to. What are you, the pulverizer? So there was the induction charger. What the hell could have been right here? Macerator. I, I have the compressor right there. Oh! The alloy smelter! That was right here. So I know one of the things that I lost. What else did I lose? There's the alloy smelter. And what? Well, anyway, yeah, now you guys know what I want out of this. I want to make a really cool podcast and turn this YouTube channel into something that catches any one of the PCP members' eye. And my end goal is to get to know their thoughts on life in general. Not because I'm seeking any kind of big wisdom or anything. It's just that I want people with interesting thoughts, and I want to share thoughts with these kinds of people. So, that's my end goal, is to become somebody... What? Satan? Was that you? Oh my god, what the hell is making that noise? That is not an Enderman. This is a God-fearing country. We don't allow any of you Satan types around here. What in the hell made that noise? Oh, shit. Okay, I forgot that those guys make really weird whisper noises. Anyway, yeah, so my goal is to become someone who catches any one of their eyes for the purpose of getting to know them, I guess. So... So now you know what my arc is, what my plan is. How am I going to do that? I guess by being smart. By being somebody who catches the eye. What am I smart about? That's something I need to show off. Um, I mean, I have no problem. If I were to start watching lots of anime, I already watch anime and I want to watch more. The only reason I'm not watching more is because this Minecraft thing is taken over my life. Now that I don't have a girlfriend, and now that a lot of things are kind of disappearing, I've got a lot more free time, I guess I could watch more anime. And you know, that's the thing. Um, something I didn't want to say before or admit before, but there were a lot of things that I was settling for with my ex. Like, I'm not gonna go detail- listing her- the- particular things about her that I didn't like. But I can say some broad, broader things like, she wasn't really big into anime. She wasn't really big into video games. She wasn't very good at video games. Uh, Matt, uh, oh, I'm... I don't want to say she wasn't smart. She was a very smart person. But she had, there was a lot of functional things that she just didn't parse very well. 
And I want someone who can keep up with me on an intellectual level. God, I sound so fucking full of myself. I'm sorry if I'm putting anyone off. I don't mean I don't mean to sound that way. Maybe I am full of myself, and I don't realize it, but uh, I try not to be. I try to be as level-headed and real about my errors as I can be. So, uh, yeah. There's a lot of things. This is, this is a good opportunity for me to change my life, to be more the way I want it. <sighs> so, yeah, that's... The big reason I'm starting this podcast is to catch their eye. Um, why else am I doing this, though? How long did I talk about the PCP? It has been 40 minutes, that's good. Another 20 minutes will do. Um, geez, I need to make some torches, which is why I came out of that cave in the first place. Give me a minute, guys. I need to be back. Alright, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. So. I talked about the main reason I'm doing this podcast. Another reason I'm doing this podcast is because I have so much free time and nothing to do with it. I don't want to do Let's Plays because I think they're just so dumb. The only reason I was ever doing them was because my girlfriend liked them and I wanted to do them with her, but now that she's out of the equation, podcasts look like the direction I'm going to go in. So that's another big thing, is I need to decide what I'm going to do with all this free time I have. Podcasts look like an easy way to go. But that's not very creative. I can't just talk about my thoughts on nothing and expect that to get me what I want in life. I've got to put a little more effort than that. I need to find some kind of... something I can do creative and interesting. So, what would that be? I could animate if I wanted to, but I'm not passionate... Writing! Writing! It always comes back to writing for me, because that's what I'm good at. That's my thing. That's my big thing that I rely on to get me through life. I could, uh... I could write books, or stories, short stories, and I could share them on YouTube, maybe. Would that work? Would that catch anyone's attention? Well, I'll ask. Maybe I can find a way to get a question to them and ask them if that sounds like something that would interest any of them. But, no. How many people watch a video and then think, oh, this video is interesting, I should contact the creator and become friends with them? No one thinks that. No one, no one ever contacts creators of videos that they like. At least I don't ever do that. Do I need to be so fucking obscure or, like, indirect about this? Why can't I just, like, try to... Well, the problem is I don't know how to contact these people. When they ha when you have such a large crowd of people, it becomes harder to contact you because I'll just blend into the big, massive storm of people who love them because they're very easy to love people. They're very easy to look up to. Hmm, let's see here. Okay. So yeah, they're very easy to like people. Lots of people like them. So what I need is I need an excuse. The same as you would need for anyone you want to be friends with. If you, there's a girl you like, you need an excuse to talk to her. Or, at least I think you do anyway. I don't just walk up to random girls and be like, Hey, can I have your number? Even with Nora, I had a very good reason to talk to her. Which is how I got any got the ball rolling. So, I need a way to get the ball rolling. Which will be this YouTube channel. I, if I can make this channel big enough, like... Fuck. The biggest of them has 
about 51,000 subscribers. And that's, uh, what's her name? Digi's girlfriend. Mage? I think? She's got like 51,000, I think. So, I, I've never even seen her channel, actually. I wonder what she even does. I should look into that. Um, but, uh, and the smallest of them is probably Hypocrite. I'm, well, I'm gonna take a quick look at what he has. Hypocrite has been in the game for a long ass time. He's got about 11,000 subscribers. <sighs> so I probably need to break the thousand subscriber limit before I can feel like I have the right to even approach these guys. Otherwise, it'll look like I'm trying to feed off of their popularity, which is not, that's not at all what I want to do. I, I don't expect, if, if I ever manage to get into contact with them, I don't expect that to ever become a public thing. It'll just be like something I get to take pride in and be like, yay, I got into contact with people that I look up to and respect. Oh, like, Sound Speed is the first YouTuber I ever started watching, and I shit my pants because I got to have like a conversation with the guy, and he and I like agreed on so much shit, and it made me so happy because like I really looked up to him for the longest time. He was a little shithead when I started watching him, which is perfect because I was a little shithead when I started watching him, and he and I sort of like grew up in tandem. He was older than me, but he was really immature, and I was a bit mature for my age. And so, it got to the- so, like, as he started growing up and I started watching- and I was watching him, I would sort of try to emulate the way he was mature as I saw him maturing. And I'm like, wow, I like this mature sound speed even more than I liked the old sound speed, who I liked a lot. So, uh, that's great. And I started, I, I'm like emulating that and acting more like, more like a 20 year old as a freshman in high school. So that's a thing. So you know what, if I can manage to have a short conversation, a short really fun conversation with the guy who I like even more than I currently like the PCP, I like sound speed more as an idol. I idolize him because I don't know enough of the bad about him. I know a lot of his backstory. I know where he, I know about the situation in which he grew up. I knew the state he grew up and I know how he moved around. I know the situations he found himself in. So I know a lot about this guy because he's shared a lot about himself. So he's more like an idol to me. The PCP aren't idols. If any of them is even close to an idol, it would be Jess. And I know enough of Jess's weaknesses, I think. I mean, I don't exactly know any of them. But from what they say about each other, and from what I've seen and what they've said about themselves, I feel like I've seen enough of Jess's weaknesses that I don't have a fantasy version of him in my head. I feel like I'm pretty aware of the horribly... Uh, the horrible planner, the procrastin- oh, fucking, yeah, makes sense, he's a procrastinator, he's in the podcast, but, uh, the unreliable guy that is Jesse. Is his last name Wood or White? I know someone's saying a drunk song for him, and that's how I learned his name, it was Jesse White is a motherfucker. Isn't- there a senator or something named Jesse White? I think in Illinois. I'm not sure. I, I've stopped caring about that topic now though. So uh what am I even talking about? Why the hell isn't this activating, by the way? That's something that really concerns me. Let's uh I need to find my mining drill. See where is the mining drill? I can use my search tool to find it.
Oh, dang it. I thought that it would highlight the mining drill, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. So anyway, yeah, if I if I am able to get into contact with with a fucking dick in my face. If I'm able to get into contact with sound speed, then surely it's possible to become acquaintances with these guys. With any one of them. But preferably multiple of them. Like, let's see. Hypocrite doesn't talk much. I don't really know what's in his head a lot of the time. The only thing I ever get to see of him is what he shows us of him. And that's not oh, very much, because he's kind of quiet and reserved on the podcast. Um, now, oh, and there's the thing I wanted to find. Got that leadstone jetpack. whoop de doo uh, I should definitely hook up my solar panels up there to the rest of my power grid. I had a little phase where I really wanted to capitalize on solar power, but the fact that it doesn't power anything at night just really turns me off. Really grinds my gears. Come on, where the fuck am I going? Where did I initially have it? Can it go that long? Okay, well, uh, oh, right. I, I connected the wires, and then I blocked the hole. So now that that's there, this is how I keep things from coming in through my roof. I keep things out of my swamp. Uh, how much energy is coming through there? None. Let's see, where would the energy build up? I think, no, it doesn't go right there. Let's check this out. The energy is not coming in, but I guess that's okay. <sighs> so, a hypocrite is pretty quiet. What would he and I ever even talk about? I don't know, I mean, the only really old game... The only thing I know about him is that he really likes the old games, like the old Kirby games, that kind of shit. The only one of those games that I like is Yoshi's Island, which I fucking adored as a child. And I still love that game. So you know what, hypocrite? Probably not the guy for me to talk to among them. Um... There's Digi. Uh... The thing about Digi is I imagine it's really hard to get his interest. I imagine it's really hard to convince him that any that you are a person worth talking to. That's just the vibe he's always given me. Because, like, yeah, I learned about that thing in my other save file, by the way, this aura. It turns out to be extremely super duper fucking important. Like, holy shit, I can't imagine I ever lived without finding this. Um... Are there any other things that I need to find that I found in the other one didn't find in here? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm almost certain that there is a thing or two that I found in that other uh, save file that I'm like, holy shit, I never found this in my main one, but I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. So, you know, I guess I'll just have to find it later. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I do. I do remember one. Soul, where is spirit? Spirit, spirit, spirit. And trap. There we go. And what does that resemble? Sloth, laziness, all that shit. Um, oh, procrastination. Ha, huh, that's funny. Um, okay. Let me think. Where was I? Right. So Digi, I imagine, is really hard to become friends with. Am I bordering on creepy yet? I feel like maybe this isn't a normal thing to talk about. But... Eh? Am I hurting my chances of ever getting to know these guys by talking about it on this podcast? Maybe, but... You know, my chances are slim enough right now that I don't see any harm 
in talking about it, because more likely than not, I have no chance of becoming acquaintances with any of them. Fuck, where's my coal? Come on, Cole, I need you to hurry up and stop being all... Stupid fucking door. Uh... Oh. A gravestone. Right, right, I forgot that spider killed me. Like a bitch. So. Yeah. It, I'm, maybe I'm being a little creepy right now, but I'm gonna say no because I don't feel like I've said anything that would give anyone a reason to be concerned. I'm not creepy, I'm just a fanatic, I guess. Maybe that's a better word. I am, yeah, I'm a PCP fanatic. I really like them a lot. Um, so, yeah. I imagine Digi is just someone who's my idea of him is that he's very selective with who he talks to. And the reason I get that idea from him is because of the way he is with anime. You already know, the dude is like... Fucking, he'll look at an anime for five minutes to decide if it's something worth watching or not. And I've heard his arguments on it. Which, I, I empathize with them, but whatever. Um... But if I were to ever want to talk to Digi, I would probably have to do something. You know, no, I couldn't do anything anime related. Because the thing is, he so outshines me in that area because he has so much more experience with it than I do. That anything I do would look laughable to him, I imagine. <sighs> so... So Digi, I would have to rule out because, because fuck, I, there's nothing I can do. I don't have anything to offer a Digi. Who do I have anything to offer? Endless Jess is the fucking devil, and I'm okay with that. I don't, th he's, I don't think he's a big people person either. How the hell did the other guys meet him? I think what happened is Digi got to know Jesse, and then Digi got to know everyone else, and then by proxy all those guys got to know Jesse. That's how I imagined it happened. Except for Hypocrite, who I know met Jesse first. And then, uh... And then Bada Bing Bada Boo, you know. You know how it goes. Um... Messed up the pattern. Um, so who else? I guess there's Nate. What it? What is Nate? Does film? I've never even seen Nate's work. I should totally look into that. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> the best guy ever. What about him? He's uh. I don't know much about him either. I watch his Why I'm a Genius Weekly thing, but I don't know much about him as a person, so I don't know. I guess I can't really plan that far ahead. All I can do right now is build up my skills, build up my assets, and then maybe someday I'll have something to offer that'll make me look like a person worth getting to know. Because that's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a person worth getting to know. Um, what else can I talk about? It's been about an hour, but all I've talked about is the PCP. I want, I want something else to talk about. I'm talking about why I'm doing this. Why else am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know why else I'm doing this, honestly. I... Right, yeah, I guess big reason is I want people. I want more people. But I want a specific caliber, caliber of person. I want someone who... I want someone who's willing to talk to me about things. And that's been kind of hard to find. People seem to just, like, keep a lot of shit to themselves. 
Um, and what do I mean by that? I don't mean, like, you gotta tell me everything about you all the time. Wait, where the hell... Where the hell did I just see into? That didn't look like my... My room. Oh, I guess that is my thermonuclear thing in there. I thought that was something else entirely. Huh. <clears throat> Jeez, I, I just attained a new level of self-awareness. I thought I had a bajillion reasons to be doing what I'm doing right now. But I guess the truth is I'm just a little fanboy who wants to catch their senpai's attention. Huh. I, I never saw myself going down that road, but uh, here I am, I guess. So, fuck it. I guess I'm gonna work on stories. Maybe work on a bunch of little side stories, and I'll do a little reading series. I initially had another channel that I was gonna dedicate to that called uh, Seed of Thought, but fuck it. I already made Prof. G. Rob. I was gonna... I. A really awesome thing about having an artist as a girlfriend is that uh, she was willing to do art for me, which was really awesome. She did the profile art for this thing, and I was hoping she'd be willing to do stuff for the other channels, but I'm not going to pay some stranger to do shit for me, because I don't have income, so I can't pay for things. The fact that I had a person who was willing to do that for me was a really big advantage, and now that I don't have that anymore, I guess I'm just gonna have to, you know, do without extra profile shit for a little while. I, I could do something myself, but I know it would turn out horribly. But, you know, no, no one's first thing is ever perfect. Maybe I should get into art. I don't know. That, that's, a mil that's a topic for another podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about how I want to catch senpai's, senpai, senpai PCP's attention. Uh, now you should stop watching this podcast and go watch the PCP, because they're like a million times more interesting than I am. Now I'm gonna do a bunch of shit in this world, and I'll catch you up with it. Or maybe I'll get to work on Gilchrist. That's something I'd like to do. That might make me happy. I haven't been happy in a while. I've just been kind of going through the motions. <sighs> anyway, um, talk to you guys another day, and this is the Profcast, by the way. I uh, made that name up just as I was uploading the other podcast. So this is the end of Profcast Episode 2. See ya next time.